Can't deny it, tonight I'm on my fly shit Stuntin' how I wanna, son, hate it or you like it Me and D Crawford, you see us looking starstruck Don't want your mouth run up in, I suggest you keep it shut I stay fly, no matter the occasion What's going on, world? We are here, we are finally here And freaking. Bahamas, okay? I'm in the Bahamas. Little skinny black me is in the Bahamas. I uh, have been traveling on this big ass ship, the Celebrity Century. And wait till I tell y'all what the Celebrity Century is like, okay? If you've never been on a Celebrity Cruise, I suggest you go on a Celebrity Cruise. It's nice, it's decent, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very, it's, it's, being on a celebrity cruise makes you feel like you got money. Makes you feel like you are worth more than you actually are worth. <laughs> you go on a, uh, you go on a carnival cruise, depending on what ship you own, you don't feel that way. You, you know the difference between Walmart and, and Target or Walmart and Bloomingdale's? That's kind of like what celebrity gives you. It gives you that Bloomingdale's effect versus Carnival's Walmart effect. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This ship is nice. That's this right here is very sexy. Real sleek with it. Somebody got plenty money. So the plan was to go jet skiing in the Bahamas, but come to find out, they don't have that excursion available. They had it online, but they sure enough don't have it on the boat. So me and my friend are trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Yo, yo. And <laughs> oh, you in the camera I'm now? In the camera now. <laughs> you in the camera now? Uh, trying to figure out what we're gonna do because uh, these excursions are hella expensive and uh, I don't know if I really feel like spending $249 or $139 or hundred and anything dollars I'm not getting no water to, yeah head. it's crazy if you guys decide to ever come on a cruise no matter what cruise line it is make sure you bring money or make sure you have money to put on your cruise account because if you don't have money, it's not gonna be a good situation for you. All right, so make sure you come with some dough. All right, and especially for the casino. I love the roulette game. I was playing it. <laughs> I actually won a little bit, but then I lost the rest. Like, it was funny, but I love roulette. Casinos are addictive, and because you're on a cruise ship, there really isn't much for you to do if it's not one of those fun and impacting kind of cruises like celebrity century is not really loaded with a lot of things to do um so the only thing that you really have to do is gamble or go to the little nightclub they have which is nice but the people that really travel century i mean they're kind of like older individuals and i'm i'm not that old so, yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> there's really not much to do on the ship, but the ship is beautiful, if that counts for anything. But I was playing roulette, and I learned how to play roulette, and I love it. It's addictive. It's a lot better than the, than the slot machines, but I lost a lot of money, so hopefully I can win it back. <laughs> Reluctant as a sex symbol. symbol. But fuck it, I'm your sex symbol. For real, I'm in this room, it is populated with dimes. Don't the fuck do I know? I don't know Nary Nine and Waddle. Dog, dog, I can't call it. Make it my job, it's my nine to five now. To, to get to know you, find some time, set it decide to dine on dinner and movie. You might have. So we're in Bahamas, Nassau, at the Atlantis Resort, and 
This shit is so huge. I feel like I've been walking five miles. We only went from the, the front of the lobby to another lobby. Only to be told that we can't do nothing in Atlantis unless we get get them some money. So because I spent a lot of money at the casino last night and lost because my friend was was bad luck. He was winning everything. And so I'm thinking, okay, I could win. But then that ain't the case. He won, he bounced, and I lost. So because I spent all my money at the damn casino playing roulette, by the way, it was fun. I mean, it was still fun. I ain't trying to spend no $150 to be going on some water slides and, and to be granted access into Atlantis. Oh, thank you. And then you, you got a lot of people out here fighting to get some American money. I don't understand. What's the problem? What's going on? <laughs> Why are we fighting? Just keep the peace. Some of these motherfuckers is fine as hell. I'm about ready to get my ass back on the ship. <laughs> walking around. Yeah. Huh? We just, I just want to see what it look like. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. All right, Ti. Got your ass at your own risk. So Ti trying to hustle. He trying to make some money. No lifeguards, people. No lifeguards. We about to be bombarded by people that want to make some money. They're going to ask us for all types of shit. Listen. Oh, my God. Can I just enjoy the beach? I just want to enjoy the beach. <laughs> I don't want... What the hell? I don't want nobody to ask me nothing. I don't want nothing. I don't want to buy nothing. I just want to enjoy the goddamn beach. Can I just enjoy the goddamn beach? 70 for half hour, 140 for one hour. Okay, where would I be able to like, leave my stuff? In the jet ski. It, it goes stuff. in the jet ski? It goes in the jet ski. It's waterproof? It does, really? Waterproof. Your camera, everything. We got a little camera part. Like when you're driving, the camera goes in front of you. So you just open it and take it back home, take pictures. Very easy. Take it on out the Newark Beach, see the Dolphin Chef or Michael Jordan house, Oprah Winfrey house, all this stuff. So, could we drive our, our own? No, you drive yourself. We don't go with you. Oh. You go by yourself. Oh. You want to try it? Let me do it for the hour? You give, let, me, let me think about it. Let me think. I, more, more than likely. What's your name? Carlos. Get ready, man. Yeah, more than likely. More than likely, I'm, we're going to come back. You talking like you ready to go down, man? You guys drinking today, man? Uh, not right now, no. At the moment, 20 bucks. Can you try some one of these drinks? Any break for you, honey? 20 bucks, and you drink unlimited, man. We spike it out here like it, man. We drink up to the coconut, like in the photo is right. You want a drink? Trust me, man. It's the best 20 bucks you're going to spend. You drink as much as you can, as much as you can handle. Whatever comes first, man. All right, boss. You can spike it out here like it. See what's behind me? This is amazing. You see those small sharks? Mm -hmm. There they come. Look at that. I have to call them. Look at how big this thing is. These fish are huge. Look how What's going on, y'all? Uh, we are leaving the Atlantis 
resort, and uh, I had a good time. I saved us a boatload of money because my friend wanted to pay for all the excursions, but I was able to finagle us to get through and not have to pay for the you know excursions because I'm Wes and he's who he is. Lies so, in the sea. <laughs> so we saved some money, but it's a beautiful spot. If you come to the Bahamas, I suggest you stay at the Atlantis Resort so you can see everything. Going back to the ship. This trip has been exciting. It's been fun. Uh, you guys, you guys know the last time that I went on a cruise was with Carnival, and I did a review video of that particular, um, yeah, situation. Definitely check that video out. But this particular cruise is quite different. Carnival cruises are fun. There's a lot to do on a Carnival cruise. With the Celebrity Century ship specifically, and you know, I'm only speaking about this ship because I haven't gone on any of the others. Comparing the two with Carnival, there's a lot less to do on the Century Celebrity Cruise ship versus the Victory Carnival Cruise. As far as the groups of people that come on this ship, when I went on the Carnival Cruise ship, it was a great mixture of people. This particular ship, <laughs> Not so much. This particular ship is primarily Caucasian based with maybe 10% black and like 5% other, which basically means that 85% of this ship is Caucasian. So if you are the type of person that loves to be around your particular race or you know, craves to to hang out with the brothers or the sisters of your particular race. <laughs> Keep that in mind when trying to book a cruise for Celebrity Cruise Century, okay? I don't know if it's just this particular trip, but I ran into a DJ uh, yesterday. Can't remember his name, but um, a black DJ yesterday. And I asked him, I said, you know, are you having a good time? He was like, hell no, this shit is whack. I said, well, what's the problem? He was like, there's nothing to do on this ship. And I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. He was like, I took Carnival and there was, I was doing a whole mess of things. And I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you kind of feel that way. But at the same time, I knew that... This particular ship didn't have what Carnival had, and I knew that Carnival didn't have what this particular ship had, and I'll tell y'all what that what I mean by that. This particular ship is classy, is elegant, is modern. Um, it, it gives you a, a, a sense of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It gives you, it gives, it makes you feel like when you come on the celebrity century, you feel like, okay, you've arrived. You know what I'm saying? From the furniture to the decor to the light fixtures to the rooms, it makes you feel like you've spent some good money and you feel good about it. When you go on the carnival cruise, you feel like you spend some good money. And you feel like, for fucking what? Because this, the rooms on the Victory was trash compared to the rooms on the C Celebrity Century Cruise. So you definitely get a bang for your buck. This particular trip ran uh, me and my buddy about $750. And it included, that's between the both of us. Um, so we divided that up. And uh, it included... Um, a drink package that allowed us to get unlimited drinks um, up to eight bucks a glass so that in itself was amazing because when I went on the carnival cruise I don't even know if they had packages like that but we didn't have that package so every time I wanted a good drink I had to pay for it here it's unlimited drinks up to eight bucks it's called the classic beverage package I believe and Celebrity Cruise has quite a few packages. And 
it doesn't matter what ship that you take for you to get the package. So that was cool. So I say all that to say this. This cruise is sexy. This cruise is a good time. We had a slamming, banging ass time at the club last night. I had to I had to school the DJ on some choice music to play because he was all in Maroon 5. And I'm like, okay, Maroon 5 is cool. I love Adam. But ain't nobody on the dance floor. Only a black dude and a white chick on the dance floor that ain't kicking it. So I told him, I said, play some reggae music. He said, oh, I played reggae music last night. I said, I wasn't here last night. I said, play some re reggae music now, tonight. T when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, this brother threw on some reggae music. And when I tell y'all, the people got on that damn floor, it, it, was, it was a rap after that. It was a rap after that, I'm telling you. Play some good reggae music and that'll get the body moving. That'll get the people on the floor. The people them on the floor. I told the guy to play some good music. And when he listen, the people don't come on the floor. <laughs> oh my God. Shout out to everybody that was at the club last night. I had a banging ass time. I was drinking. I was drinking watermelon. Nah, I was drinking Long Island iced tea. Oh man, Long Island iced tea. Long Island iced tea, yeah, that's what it's called, yeah. I was fucked up, I was fucked up. And it was unlimited, so I was just pouring it, pouring it, pouring it. The girls was dancing. Even the, even the older white chicks was dancing to the reggae music. And it was this cool ass Caucasian chick. She was downtown, she had some soul in her. She was like, these people don't know how to dance. <laughs> she had on this elegant black dress and she talking to her like, these people don't know how to dance, they don't know what they doing. You gotta have soul. If you don't wanna move to this music, you whack. I was like, yeah, mama, preach. Preach, baby, preach. She was she was cool down. She was down. And uh, I had a good ass time. And then, you know, they played everything from the wobble to teach you how to dug it, to the dug it. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. And uh, hopefully you guys decide to board. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, like I told y'all last time, if you decide to come on the ship or any ship, do not come alone. That's one, okay? Because if you don't have a lot of money to gamble, there's really nothing else for you to do on a ship, okay? Not unless they have a ton and a ton and ton of activities. And that's going on one of the big ass ships that got the rock climbing and, the, the, and all the activities that you can partake in. Now, Century has an arcade. They have a basketball court. Sounds nice, but the deck, the, the, the top level deck where the pool is, is not huge. Um, you know, this is a smaller ship. Century is a smaller ship. I definitely want to go on one of the bigger ships in both Carnival and Celebrity, to be honest. Um, I like the customer service on Celebrity Cruise. They're very, very friendly. Everybody says hello. You get a taste of the world on these cruises, both Carnival and Celebrity Cruise. They, they, the, the cast uh, and crew, the, the crew, the crew is very, 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 very diverse. When you come on a cruise, you definitely have to network. You have to chit chat and, 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 and chop it up with the people that are on the cruise with you. It's a great way to bond with individuals because you're going through the same stuff. Um, we met some cool chicks, some cool cats, and uh, now we're a day at sea, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful scene. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and hopefully you guys decide to embark on Celebrity Cruise Century. Yeah. I don't know if I could do the trips, like, over and over again. Like, I don't know if I could do, like, a duplicate I don't know if I can come back on the century, cause you know, been there, done that, but nonetheless, it's it's pretty cool. They have a movie theater, they have a club, they have the pool topside, they have an amazing, an amazing selection of body aromatherapy treatments, massages, and, and things of that nature. The gym is off the hook on the century. The bars are off the hook on the century and they make good drinks but they're not gonna spike them strong if you don't ask them to you know they do the limited cat 
shot of uh, uh, alcohol and then that's it. But um, I'm still a little bent from last night, but I'm going to go on the ship and uh, show you all around town. All right. <laughs> Later.